The Tdap vaccine covers three medical conditions, so tetanus, diphtheria, and acellular pertussis. Tetanus, um, all of these ultimately, worst case, um, can lead to death. Um, tetanus itself is known for really painful muscle stiffening and a range of serious health conditions um, beyond that as well. Diphtheria also can cause a lot of difficulty breathing um, and lead to complications like heart failure and paralysis. And pertussis, which is also commonly known as whooping cough, um, leads to a range of conditions, but particularly in younger children and newborn infants is very life-threatening um, and in those instances leads to um, issues like pneumonia, um, convulsions, and even brain damage. DTaP and Tdap vaccines are very similar. They are um, vaccines for the same conditions, but different age ranges. So under the age of seven, children with their routine childhood immunizations receive DTaP, and then seven and above and into adulthood is Tdap. Fortunately, in the cases of tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, we really don't see a lot of cases um, uh, a big part of that being because DTaP is part of routine childhood vaccinations. Um, we know that the vaccines are safe, we know that they're effective, they've been around for years and years, um, and they're very well proven in terms of their efficacy. Knowing that newborn infants are at very high risk for pertussis or whooping cough, Tdap is specifically recommended in all pregnant women. Um, we know it's safe in pregnancy, it's proven to be safe, and again, recommended um, for all pregnant women in their third trimester, not only to protect health the mother, but also for that newborn baby. I understand that everyone wants to uh, wants to make the best decisions they can with regard to immunizations. Sometimes that means there's a lot of questions and potentially hesitations, and we as family physicians are just here to answer those questions and really help guide you so that you can make a really informed decision. 